first sports video game publisher of all time. Yes, that includes the likes of 2K and EA. Acclaim has published fewer good games than I have eyeballs, and the games that they have published are really only good to use as a coaster for your drinks. Yes, EA Sports is pretty bad I right like, now, I with them winning the bangers. worst company of the year and whatnot. But at least EA Sports had a golden period of phenomenal games. Acclaim just never had that. Let's take a look at the first reason why Acclaim is lame. Didn't they do it? Oh. <laughs> did you see what I did there? The death of NBA Jam. NBA Jam exploded on the Mortal arcade Kombat. scene in 1993 and revolutionized sports games as no sports Yo, game. Yo, NBA Jam, my earliest memory of this game, bro, I had a barber, the same barber that had, um, that had, what do you call that? Oh, the NBA Street that we talked about last uh, stream. He had a back room. The barber name was Herman, bro. Um, shout out to Herman, man. It's a damn shame we doing this early, but who gives a f Polo t-shirt polo drawers now make me take this polo off. The sun is out. And you asking to take your clothes off. Take your freak ass out of here. Go outside, bro. Go outside. This is a damn shame. You still did it. Am I playing 2K24? Absolutely, gang. Absolutely. Um, but listen, bro, they had a they had a back area where they had uh actual like arcade machines. Now I think about it, Herman was ahead of his time. That old ass had boy, he was running up money. He had vending machines and goddamn arcades. I know that was running that money up. I know he was running that money up. But also, too, man, let me tell you what. I say how NBA Street cheats. I say how all these other games cheat. No, this game, literally, it's proven. They have rubber banding in this game. If you want to know what that means is you can't win too much over the AI. Are they going to start to uh, lower how much you can shoot? And 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 uh the AI star f making all these shots. It's been proven. Chase linked me a video about it. Dog, it's f terrible in this game. Terrible. But yeah, man. Uh, but this this is a banger game though. Prior had tried to be this over the top, especially with the NBA license. The game was developed by Midway Games. You know the guys who are known for that super controversial, brutal, and violent game, Jackie Chan Stunt Master. For you, good. Go home now. Oh, and I guess. We might have to play that. What was that? The Mortal Kombat Games 2 or whatever. A follow up to NBA I'm Jam not was ready, NBA bro. Tournament Edition. Then most people can't name another NBA Jam game. What happened? Well, Midway made what up, Hades? What up, Nick? Games, a claim published ready, the good? Whole All right, man. Thank you, Tommy. NBA Jam. Midway would lose the rights to NBA Jam simply because they didn't own the name. The NBA did. There's this guy, Greg Lawson, who worked for Acclaim and then went on to work for the NBA licensing department. He would go on to hand the NBA Jam license directly to his former employer, Acclaim. Wow. This heist was so big that GTA 5 Online would blush. What the f It would continue on with the NBA Jam series, except that it can't be called NBA Jam. So they what went with they names it? like NBA Hangtime, NBA Showtime. NBA Hangtime? Oh, wow, amazing. this is literally NBA Jam. I never heard of this game. What a theft, you thief. What was the stolen name? End of yesterday's stream. Oh, the song I played at the end of yesterday's stream is Belly Re Up. It's right here. It's Re Up by Belly. And now that's just fire, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I, I didn't get the uh to um to Belly's verse. Uh, at that end of stream, I, I I was I was rapping it more. Song fire though. What up, Crunchy Black? You ain't gonna call me no mother Crunchy Black and get away with it. You see, Jay Woods, you be you, this is what Jay Woods do. He come in his. Throw a hook and then stop coming for five minutes. And he gets away with it. I'm on to you. I'm on to your ways. You think you slick. You think you slick. It's not going to go on for much longer. Them really stole the NBA Jam name, bro. Rodman, be cannibal. Barry. Yo, Hayes, that think he's slick, man. Oh. Who can I want to see that out of here? All right. 
Time, which was a favorite of mine on the Dreamcast, and NBA Ballers, which I also like. Acclaim would continue with the NBA Jam name, and even went on to do annual releases. We had- No way! So, not only did they steal the name, but then they tried to copy- No wonder why the NBA Jam game I played with Chase them was so f ass! Bro, spam the Chase eating Ricky emo. That's where it come from. Trey NBA Jam. No wonder. This game, if y'all have not watched this video, y'all should really watch this video, bro. I played NBA Jam with Chase and, uh, and no, Ricky wasn't here. This game sucks. Look at, listen to Chase. <laughs> Chase is called the trash. My triangle don't work. You shit. Carter still trash! Oh, he called Carter trash. <laughs> hey, this is a banger video. Bro, this game sucks. Glow like it's Jojo not made by the same people. Just resubscribe Yo, Glow, appreciate you for the big goddamn got uh, three months. Ads never again. Man, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you. I don't know why Twitch DJ like that, bro. Had two oh. different NBA Jam franchises going on at the exact same time, and one isn't a lot. So look. So Midway is the original makers of this game. All these niggas did was steal the name. Let's see if they stole the gameplay too. Let's look up NBA Jam 2000. Passes it to wide right. This game look fucking tr oh no, fuck is long shot. This All game looks fucking trash. He takes Killing a quick just resubscribed for 27 months. Another anniversary with the family. First JVE game as a defense coordinator tomorrow and first varsity game tomorrow. Hey, so we'll let nigga, you know how it goes. Nigga, let me know how it goes. That's some fire shit, nigga. Hold on my W music. That's some fire ass shit. Nigga, nigga, nigga the D coordinator. Nigga, hey, how long until the game till you say, get off the field? Get off the field! Everybody know that coach shit, you know what I'm saying? You gotta tell one of them little niggas, get your ass off the field! Yo, nigga, hey, uh, good luck, my nigga. Good luck, gang. Dog, this game looks fucking terrible. NBA Jam 99. These son of a bitches. I can't believe they did this. The small four falls to the pit. He inbounds the ball. The ball slips right out of his hand. The power forward throws up a half court toss. Ball slips right out of his hand. The power forward throws up a half court toss. Bro, acclaimed sports might be the worst niggas already. Allowed to be called NBA Jam. If only there was a third series going on, we can have NBA Jam No Way Home. The quality of the claims of NBA here, games were so bad, it's no wonder nobody except losers, like me, know about these games. I mean, it could speak for itself. This is NBA Jam video on the way. Extreme, even though there's nothing video extreme on the about way. it. It looks like the basketball is extreme. Lee Small. Yeah, why, Seriously, why the ball like so fucking small? An orange. As I mentioned earlier, Acclaim would have released these games with a year in the title, and they would also strip literally everything that made the series good by taking it in a simulation route. So not only is that a stupid Playing all idea, NBA jams? What if I do like playing all stolen NBA, but now nah, niggas don't know that this shit was stolen. I'm gonna make a video of the biggest heist in gaming history and play all the trash ass fucking uh, NBA jams more faith that I would survive a jump off the Empire State Building than I do a claim making a simulation look, look what they do to Nico. anything there's a term I like to use called a claim jank and I think you'll see what I mean by the end of this video just look at it look at how it moves animates and listen to the sound how do I feel about Spinelli return wait Spinelli returning what are you talking about Ward passes it to wide right it's soulless. If Shang's son walked up to this game, he'd have nothing to steal. My court? Oh, my court returned to next gen? To NBA Showtime by Midway, which was released in the same it's year on the same just console. Just subscribe for 20 months. What's up, Trey and Chat? Oh, oh, Yo, Tim, shot. what up, gang? How you feeling? It's just not fair, ladies and gentlemen. Look at NBA Jam 2002 on Game Boy Advance by Acclaim. This Nicely shit looks received. fucking... I'll bet he didn't see that coming. Nicely received. 
Nicely received. Nicely received. How the fuck did he just miss that? Nicely received. Nicely received. <laughs> Nicely received. Stop saying it! Cool, that's gonna cost them. Nicely received. Nicely received. Nicely received. Nicely received. Yeah, everything about this game was nicely received, that except game the fucking, fucking game ass. itself. Acclaim would try one last time to go back to the roots of NBA Jam they with really the game was called stealing. Uh, NBA Jam. And you know what? It was a fairly decent game. No. Nothing that'll blow you away, though. It looks even worse when you realize that NBA Street Volume 2, which is arguably the best basketball game ever, was released in the exact same year. Oh, you're done. That's some tough luck right <laughs> you're there. The you're NBA done. Jam series would eventually go to EA, who made an NBA Jam game that literally runs circles around all of this garbage. No way. LJN is another company wrong. that is notorious for making really bad video games, and they had the WWF license. In 1990, Acclaim bought out LJN, so now Acclaim has the WWF license. Okay, now what, to I, I, I want to see what's wrestling games, WrestleMania, all these shits is way before me. I don't like For the them. SNES and Genesis that are just the definition of meh. All the characters stand and move the same way, and they all have the same moves except finishers. I gotta be Every match just ends up ass. being eye rakes, chokes, and strikes. Also, there's so much grunting going on in this game. It sounds it gotta kinda, be the Undertaker. Uh, uh, I think that was Scott. Oh, not well, Scott. What's that like, name? Um, well, just listen. Look at Bret Hart. The fuck is he doing to him? I mean, what you play these games is to grapple and then just mash buns until the meter would fill up. Just not good stuff overall. The only thing that's memorable about these games are the recreation of the entrance music. Damn. Eventually, a claim would make hey, a jump to eye. 3D with some truly bad games. Warzone Look at and the Undertaker. Attitude are really, really poor game. I kind of remember Warzone. I remember people talking about this. I don't, I don't know what the fuck this game looks like. Instead of button mashing like a Neanderthal, you have to enter in fighting game commands in order to do moves. So yes, you would have to do something like left, right, left. Hell in order no! To do get a that shit out my wrestling game. All of these games were not well received, and it would eventually lead look to at, WWE look, look at Mick Foley, bro. splitting up with a claim. Funny enough, WWE sued a claim later on, claiming that a claim still sold games despite their licensing agreement being over. That's a lot of claiming. Judging from what I know, this lawsuit doesn't make much sense from the WWE perspective of things because Acclaim wasn't selling their games, the retailers were. But oh, Vince was probably just crap. pissed he's associated with Acclaim. I would be. Acclaim would make an agreement with ECW to produce ECW games. Now that actually sounds really cool. Imagine a hardcore game that truly leans into the violent side of pro wrestling. A claim hasn't been good, but maybe this is something that can motivate them to do a little bit better. You had both oh, games, were they good? It's the exact same game as Warzone that and Attitude. fucking trash. Huh. This is somehow less extreme than that oh NBA Jam game from earlier. You know, the one where you're this bouncing around a damn ass. tangerine. I'm not even going to comment. ECW would eventually go out of business, but Acclaim is not giving up on wrestling games just yet. They would go on to make Legends of Wrestling, a wrestling game Yo, that- Yo, this game sucks! We just played this! No wonder why it's ass! It was Acclaim! Utilizes a bunch of legends that aren't tied to any WWE contracts. There are three Legends of Wrestling games, and the series at best is mediocre. This game, I'll give it. Let me see. Let me. Let, hold on. What's the other one? Three Legends of Wrestling. Showdown. Let's look it up. Because I've never seen the Showdown one. Why did she spin him? You got that right. It's the same fucking trash. At Madison Square Garden. They're ready to erupt, Tony. One big move in this place will absolutely go off. Two true legends of the ring. I need to stop bullshitting. We need to make videos on all these. Yo, that, that, that need to go on a second channel. That shit looks trash. Oh my god. If it isn't young spicy brown mustard himself. How's your day, my guy? Hope all is well. We need you versus Guapo at FOTW Mania. I have Guapo winning via submission when he makes you tap out via the Guap lock. Not happening. Not happening. All right. Uh, what did they say about Jim Harbaugh? I don't think I see anything.
the yeah. games and the series at best is mediocre i'll give a tiny bit of credit though and say that these are at least better than the warzone games although that isn't saying oh, much. the first legends of wrestling game is pretty bad the games just have that acclaimed jank all over them the body <laughs> proportions are just completely insane with wrestlers like king kong bundy looking like he would have his own gravitational pull because he's so damn big the sequel would improve on things a little bit but the third game showdown legends of wrestling was somehow worse than the first game in every way except the roster. I'd also like to point How? out that Legends of Wrestling 2 on the Game Boy Advance is probably the worst game on that platform. Wop, wop, no no joke. Fuck, that would be the wop, end wop, of Acclaim's wrestling gross. aspirations as we never got a single good game from it. Comparing these games to what THQ was putting out, just unfair. No, the claim would really take bad. their talents to other licensed sports games. The All-Star Baseball series seems great on the surface, specifically All-Star Baseball Mickey 2005. It's a game filled with features shit. such as Smiley recreating face. moments from previous MLB seasons, oh, a fun little trivia game that asks questions that only a person that's eligible for senior discounts would know, and a franchise mode that's honestly more in-depth than not only what was out at the time, but even more than modern games in some aspects. You have a full-blown expansion mode that lets you create your team and head into an expansion draft. You also okay. have real and fictional stadium tours that are narrated by a guy who sounds even more monotone than me, Derek Jeter. This park is certainly an interesting place to play, to say the least. <laughs> In a day and age where the retractable roof is fashionable, the Laco Dome ignores the recent trends and stands out on its own. You have to wonder what the architect was thinking, if he was thinking at all. Forget about the weird bounces. What about the soggy baseballs? What the fuck was that nigga? Soggy baseballs. Some nigga in the back went, Help me! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Forget about the weird bounces. What about the soggy baseballs? They even had fictional future stadiums. Plans are underway for this new ballpark for the A's, but as yet, no timetable has been set. Who gives a There's fuck? There's even a mode where you pick players from a lineup and play a pickup game Watch in a cornfield or a sandlot, which is a shout out to Field fire. of Dreams and the Sandlot movies, respectively. That's so fire. thinking this is a really, really great game. Well, there's just one problem with that. The actual gameplay is terrible. Yeah, it's more of that acclaim jank. The ball just teleports <laughs> to the glove and everyone squats like a girl peeing in public. The choice Yo! for this fielding camera where you can tell what on earth is even happening is terrible, but fitting. You can turn it off, but even a standard camera is hard to see what's going on. Just a sad scene to have. He did not catch that fucking ball. You can turn it off, but even a standard camera is hard to see what's going on. How is he going to catch this fucking ball? Hang on. I'll break some behind this weak ass game. Just a sad scene to have all this cool stuff get wasted on this game. You have to wonder what the architect was thinking, if he was thinking at all. You know, Derek w Jeter was on the cover w for multiple All-Star baseball games. I would ask why he would associate himself with garbage like a claim, but that he bread. did wear a Yankee uniform for his career, so he's probably used to it. <laughs> A claim would make NFL games as well with their NFL quarterback club series. This series, as far as critical reception goes, is more up and down than. Oh, two. Bar God, he has him in the go block. Will he tap? Will he get to the ropes? <laughs> oh my God! Trey taps. He taps. He taps. Guapo is the new face that runs the place. We have officially entered the Guapiare. Get that fake ass shit out of here. And then you woke up. And then you fucking woke up. Fucking guap. Like, get the fuck out Club of here. Series. This series, as far as critical reception goes, is more up and down than a kid in a bouncy castle. Some titles received dreadful scores and some received pretty good ones. To me, these games Ooh, are, shit. to put it simply, nothing special at all. Taking a look at Quarterback Club 2002, there's no acclaimed jank here. Got a man in the end zone. You got me fucked up. I'm downloading this. I can't keep saying we're going to play these and not play them. Give me one moment. Um, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, home. Um, I currently I own this game. I'm going to pick up my, my, my own game.
Ninja Guy 25 just resubscribed for seven months. Yo, Ninja, appreciate you, gang. Thank you so much for the seven months, bro, bro. NFL. Oh, wait, these PS1? Hold on. Let me Google it. NFL QB Club. Yeah, these gotta be PS1. If they PS1, I can't play them right now. Yeah! Oh no, Quarterback Club 2002 on PS2. Bet. Oh, here you go, I found it. 2002. East Xen just resubscribed for seven months. It's downloading. Get uh get Duck Station. Yeah, oh bro, I I I actually think I got it on here. Or oh, I downloaded it. I I, I don't want to try to set it up on stream. Yo, East! Yo, East, what the fuck going on, man? Appreciate you for the goddamn sub, bro, bro. Am I playing a YouTube video on stream? Why not both? Why not play it on stream and turn it to a video? But we might do that. Eh, mostly. It's Look just very, shit. very bland. The best thing about them is the quarterback challenge. But besides oh, that, that's fire! there's nothing here besides a season Look mode. Look at that, that fucking crook. So bare bones, you could find it in a cemetery. It's just very... very Nova was good! Oh, Nova, you came in at the wrong time. <laughs> very bland. The best thing about them is the quarterback challenge. Goddamn crook. But besides that, there's nothing here besides a season mode that's so bare bones, you could find it. Guapo, it's tough, man, how I got to, uh, you know what's crazy? It's tough that I got to time you out, man. I got to get Guapo, bro. Damn, my slash time out. Guapo, 60. Boom. In a cemetery. At least you can knock over the ref. Ah! The series and stopped at the quarterback club 2002, which is a good thing because I think this series stood no match for the football games that were out at the time and the football games that were coming out eventually. It would be like sending a four-year-old to fight Superman. Out of the three major North American sports, the closest thing a claim is made to something that's good between the three of them are some select NFL quarterback club and all-star baseball How games. And I'm being generous by saying that because I feel like loss. none of them were great and none of these games are revered in games. Gaming circles, oh no, sports game. attacking Wapo. He just hit him with the biggest boot. How could you, Trey? How could you? You are better than this. Don't do it. You know what? Maybe that might be real. <clears throat> Maybe that might be real. Gaming circles or even baseball slash football gaming oh, circles. What was that jump shot? outside the three major North American sports isn't a different story, unfortunately. Jeremy McGrath Supercross is regarded as one of the worst games in general. It's ugly, sounds awful, and looks like they hired a guy from Fiverr to make the cover. Where are you driving anyway? It looks like the planet Earth after the meteor that killed the dinosaurs landed. Also, you gotta love those poppin' trees. What the fuck is his hair? This thing you're looking at that looks like a cartoon adult swim would air at three in the morning is, is this a crowd for real don't need to say anymore do i the weirdest game i found is freestyle street soccer which is a blockbuster exclusive no wonder they went out of business both of them blockbuster exclusives get the fuck out of here the closest that a claim that is that putin got to making a widely regarded good game was their tony hawk ripoffs well some of them anyway <laughs> aggressive inline and dave mirror freestyle bmx2 are putin actually crazy. good games that are really enjoyable to play even for today's standards the only thing i don't like about them is some artistic choices like aggressive inline having these giant roaches that you squish and dave mirror 2 seemingly takes place in a reality where all head. life on earth has been eradicated Except Dave Mir. This and game don't like, look bad. Like, where is everyone? <laughs> but in all seriousness, this game don't look bad. Good. I can go all day here as Acclaim had an NHL series, a volleyball game. Forget about the weird bounces. What about the soggy baseballs? And even a lacrosse Yo, game that was narrated by Steve O. Hey, uh, my mother plays better defense than you. The Buffalo Bandits won, and uh, the New York Saints, nothing. You know, I made that up, but I'm not completely sure it's untrue. Well, anyway, we need to move on. 
The final thing I want to talk about is the absurd idiotic controversies that surrounded Acclaim. I've already covered the NBA Jam stuff, but Acclaim was bleeding money like Eddie Guerrero when he what went up, up against Yo, hey, we, hey, we're going to get gonna be some running, buzz um, for their games. They did some desperate publicity stunts. We could try to run it like 8 or 8.30, depending on whenever you free. decked out in the virtual tennis two logos Let me know. to fly on the court during a tennis match. Strange. Now with the release of... Guapi Poppy said, check my DM real quick. Oh my God, get out of here. Sir, why did you send me this? No, not Captain, what was the reason? Why? Why, 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 why is this a thing? And why should I be looking at it? Why should I be looking at this? <laughs> I know you ain't saying this to me. I know you ain't saying this to me. That's, that's just what I know, right? I just know. Oh my God, it's straight. burnout 2 coming what would be the best way to advertise it well if you thought paying for people's speeding tickets then i have to ask if your walls are padded the uk government put a stop to this i mean would they have paid for we people's funerals for too for speaking of like that you fuck nigga what that nigga funerals in order to advertise shadow man the second coming i know i know it's not a sports game but uh Shut up. Acclaim offered to buy tombstones to advertise the game. Here lies Shadow Man, the second coming, available now on PS2 game, keep an Xbox. Like, what is going on here? An Acclaim spokesperson Yo, said- Yo, pod calling me. Hold on, give me a second. Yo, what the hell are you doing? Why are you so close to the camera? Uh, your jewel is currently live. Okay. All right. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. All right, gang. The go. video game industry is the fastest. Pod bald. Can't, bro, when will these 60 days be up? I don't want to see ass clap modded again. Growing segment of the entertainment industry. We're always looking at new ways to reach an audience, and because it's for games, we can have a little fun. I'm not an expert on advertising, but encouraging people to commit vehicular. Why would they... Why are they paying niggas parking tickets? And why are they paying for niggas tombstones? That's not advertised. Let's ask. I need my chain, yo, pod, man. Whenever you're ready, bro. We got you, bro. Whenever you're ready, man. Killer manslaughter is probably what? not a good advertisement strategy. Then there's the most controversial game that Acclaim would ever release named BMX XXX. Instead of a game that relies on its you know good gameplay these guys went with the edgy crude route hot salty nuts sack i got a hot salty nuts <laughs> that's a childish fucking game that was and anyway he moaned at the end bro Nudity, dog something, and everything in between. Ain't no way. Hey, whoever this nigga is, W fucking edited. W. <laughs> Hey, hey, nigga, W fucking editor, nigga. I swear to God. First of all, this game looks fucking trash. But I did it. This is technically in the Dave Mira series of games. But Dave Mira didn't want to be associated with this mess and even they ended up suing game? Acclaim. The thing with this and other Acclaim advertising controversies Ooh, shit, is that ran her ass none over. of them work. In the case of BMX XXX, it had the exact opposite effect. 
retailers pulled the game from store shelves, which led to awful sales. Doesn't help that the game sucked ass too. I guess this game has the honor of being one of the few non-adult only rated games to be prohibited from Twitch streaming. So there's that. So oh, wait, you, 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 you can't even stream this game? God damn. Oh my God, these names. Bro, who the fuck made a game called Suck My Dick or Die? Get the Don't fuck out of here. rated games to be prohibited from Twitch streaming, so there's that. So, congratulations, Acclaim. Your game is in the same company as games like Genital Jousting. Excuse me? And Cuckold Simulator. Excuse me. Here. <laughs> Acclaim would eventually go bankrupt, and that would be the end of the Acclaim Sports era with little to no fanfare. None of these games Them have a long-lasting appeal or left an impression on really anyone besides... Sneeko Sim. Hey, I played this game when I was six years old. Metacritic is a site that gives the average critic score of a game. It's not the end-all be-all by any means, but it's still a good indication of how good a game can be more often than not. Out of the 29 acclaimed sports games that have Metacritic scores that I've found, Stop calling the average score nigga. is 64.5. I forgot. Oh my god, let me look it up. HBO Box. HBO Box. After that ruthless attack on Guapo by former champion Trey Sold. Guapo is currently at the local medical facility. Trey has absolutely no remorse after the attack. Good. But the question we are all asking is why? Why attack your opponent that was Bring your you friend? Who the fuck is that? Thank you for the donor, Link. I know that ain't George Foreman! Now that shit just unlocked a memory. I tried to buy that BMX game in GameStop one day and the whole ass nigga go tell my mama that shit was too adult for me. Bitch, make the cell and shut the fuck up. No, nigga, because you should have not been playing the game of some, some, some hot, salty nuts as a kid. Yo, chat, we might have to make a video on all these acclaimed sports, bro. These niggas is trash. I don't even want to see the game. Low key, low key, I don't want to see it. Let me download it. Let me download it. Let me go on here. Let me go on here right there. He has one. Oh yeah, PS One, give me a link, bang. Put on, they got aces in here. Part two. W gameplay. Yo Nova, appreciate for the goddamn bit twenty months. Oh, game. Nova just resubscribed for twenty months. Damn twenty months, almost two years. Come on, we man. locked in F R R R R. Yo, Nova, I appreciate you for the goddamn love, man. Yo, Nova, I'm going to be in New York soon, too. I don't know exactly when, but I'm going to be in New York soon. Um, What are we looking for? HBO. HBO. Bang. Chat is downloading. All right. Um, Yo, so look, we about to play the game in like 30 minutes. I think that we should watch another video. I think we should do Reddit after I do um after I play the game. We we're gonna play the um the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with Runchy and Jenix. This nigga Trey still ain't answer my grill DM. Yo, J Diggy. Look, listen, I finally called gut of the day, J Diggy. I'm asking your DM next. I got you, my nigga. I got you. Number isn't impressive at all on its own, but take it to consideration that I didn't count the handheld. <coughs> I'll try the context. Like Let's get awful it. Awful Legends of Wrestling 2, and I only counted the highest rated port of the game, which is important because there have been some terrible port jobs, especially on the Dreamcast versions of games. And I counted the Burnout games, even oh, though Davis, I Davis personally too. don't consider those sports games. I gave every single advantage I could and we still have a bad score. I looked at mostly every EA Sports game that has a Metacritic score until the year 2004, and we have an average of 85.6. You know, these niggas are far worse than EA Sports. Far worse than EA Sports. 